What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're taking a look at Gamma 3.0. This is their latest update that has a big feature which is AI Agent now built in for your presentations and DAX. And we've actually checked out Gamma 2.0 and the original version of Gamma and have seen kind of the progressions of how they become a leading player in the space of being able to revolutionize presentations and having to skip the process of doing like PowerPoints, like manually creating these decks and instead changing it in a way where it utilizes AI generation and templates to allow you to quickly and easily get your ideas across and create presentations, websites, and more. Gamma is actually something that I started to see quite often because in a lot of the brand campaigns that we work on, there are creator briefs. And within those briefs of product launches and updates, I've actually seen quite a few brands use Gamma to create presentations that get the story across and tell us what to talk about and some important key points in the videos. So it's actually cool to see it used around. As always in these AI episodes, I'm giving away a Mac mini, which I believe is the best all round Apple computer for the most people out there. So if you guys wanna enter, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with your favorite feature and Instagram username. And someone from my team will contact you in two weeks directly. And a huge thanks to Gamma for sponsoring this video. In this AI series, I like to take a look at workflow and software that enables productivity and is really focused on creators, whether it is video editing tools, presentations, things for visual decks and generation, and in the whole world of AI and now AI agents, it really has become an important factor of changing your workflow and allowing you to focus on the ideas. Just from the act of taking a concept to an idea as quickly as possible, and that is a lot of what Gamma is able to achieve. Gamma 2.0 brought a rebrand, a more intuitive and modern design and UI. Three core feature upgrades such as document, presentation, and web page creation evolution. Improved generative abilities both in documents and in images. And by the way, Gamma actually has 20 image engines that are built in. So you can pick your favorite one that you might be used to outside of the platform and use it all within Gamma. Gamma 3.0's main features is AI Agent, as well as Gamma API, Gamma for Business, and Gamma Ultra being introduced for more powerful AI models and extended generative tools. So what exactly is an AI agent? I would say the best way to describe it is having an actual personal assistant built into your computer. One that you're able to talk to, one that you're able to like give it specific tasks, and on top of that, have like a personal assistant that is working with you, building upon AI technology that is already specializing in search, in text generation, or even image generation. But instead, an AI agent brings that all together and uses the agentic model to be able to execute tasks at another level. And I feel like that is really the next step with AI as we've seen with many other AI tools, both in this field and also in creative and video editing tools. So in this video, the theme is actually going down memory lane and showing you guys the final result of my favorite condo renovation to date. I've done five or six projects, I believe, over the years, and my primary condo was one that I poured everything into, went through all the details, did a whole crazy project, and we're actually about to launch the final condo tour in the next few months. I know it's been a long time coming, but in fact, I actually sold it already and moved. And so it's kind of funny that this series has gone so many years, it's traveled along. I finally like built it to the perfect point and then an opportunity came up to purchase a house. So opening up my project, this is a modern condo showcase and we're gonna show how Gamma AI is able to serve as your design partner and be able to change the entire look of a presentation faster than ever before. So you could see I have my photos here, I have some information, some traits, different images in the rooms being separated, the full video, but there's still quite a bit of work that I need to do. And as you can see, the agent is just on the top there. And with the Gamma agent, I can research anything, refine anything, restyle instantly, and we're just going to go ahead and try it for the first time. You can add like an executive summary, find related case studies, recommend a theme based on content. So I'm gonna actually try that and see 
what it is able to do, and maybe show me a few more variations of the existing design. So from here, you could see it's picked like the Howlite theme. This is the original that I might have had. This one actually goes a little bit better with the color palette. So I'm going to actually accept that change and apply the theme. And I'm also going to take a look at some of the ideas of what I could do with the agent. I feel like a lot of times when you're first introduced to a new tool within an app that you're already familiar with, you take a look at some of the recommendations and maybe these are tools that you end up using every single time. So from like the refinement standpoint and the restyling standpoint, I'm going to spot the weak arguments and maybe try to find some things that I could add. So there you can see it gives me a lot of different recommendations. I would like to add context to the luxury claims. But as you can see here, it has actually added a lot more context to a specific card where it has actually expanded what I've already written. And then I'm able to adjust some of the information here. And as you can see, I give it some general information of the TV, for example, the model of couch that I've gone with, gathered more detail online of that as well. Um, you can see there's also some recommendations in other areas, such as maybe talking about the natural light and different features. And it is built up the deck to the point where there's actually a lot more info with the ceilings and everything. Some of these stats do have to be manually updated, but in this case, it's given me that idea um, of what I should put in here. And it just makes it so much easier. And you can see from the original to the modified, there's so much more context. And I can even go and have it edit the image as well, which were some of the tools that we might have shown in the earlier models of Gamma. Some of the other little things that I could do is visualizing the text heavy cards. So some of them might have a little bit too much text, whereas before I might have lacked context and had too many images. But now I'll have it edit the card and maybe add some small illustrations or summarize the information based on what is important. And say I want to test some of the research skills where it is able to go on the web and upload more images and bring it into the presentation deck. I'm going to have it create me a page with an interior design material deck that showcases the choice of finishes in one page at the start. So there you can see it shows me some of the design materials and the finishes. So European white oak, Calcutta marble, custom walnut cabinetry is something I'm going to add. I also had natural linen, integrated LED systems. And there, I've given a bit of a better description, but I'm actually going to have it refine this page just a little bit. Find me web images of specific material descriptions from brand websites. And there you go. It's actually gone to the site of my manufacturer and it's found pretty much the exact stone that I was looking for, uh, including the buster and punch handles, the infinity stone, the walnut finishes. Uh, some of the oak floors and like you can suggest any sort of variations that you'd like so in this case i have small variations such as the floors being herringbone in pattern and here's some examples of how it is able to take the entire look of a presentation and change it within seconds whereas if you guys remember if you're around my age back in the school days if you wanted to change your style or anything you would have to go in manually adjust each thing maybe play with the font. In some cases, you can try to use the templates, but in this case, it fully adapts everything, organizes it, and as long as you learn to describe what you need to your agent, it is something that continues to improve and will always get smarter as time goes on. And a very handy application for the research side of things is that it is also able to say, like grab a bunch of sources and find references and also cite them in a presentation if you need to do that. And you can also have stuff like executive summaries that are been created based on all of the material that is in your presentation. I think what I also really like about Gamma as a whole is that there are a bunch of themes that are already built in. And so not only do you have themes that you can start with, import, and have style guides if you are a business, but by being able to tell AI to adapt their certain things very quickly, exactly the way that you would like, depending on the tone, the style, the font, and all that, you can really, as I mentioned, transform the entire look in just a few seconds.
So this is a final look at my entire home project, taking the entire photo gallery, all the different rooms, the nuances when it comes to tech, and putting it into a beautiful presentation that we not only use to take a look at for memories, but also to send as presentation decks when pitching the next home projects, which you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of. And I've been using tools such as Gamma and many other AI tools to not only build presentation decks, but also for researching, organizing my ideas, building out schedules. And a big part of that has been the implementation of AI agents in the tools that we use, especially recently. With Gamma 3.0, there's also a few other features, including Gamma API. And this allows you to create decks at scale. If you made one deck, really fine tune it and customize it, but wanna be able to apply it in the future with all of your current models and prompts and all that kind of stuff in there, but want to be able to replicate it at scale, which is very handy for businesses who do a lot of presentations. With the Gamma API, it allows you to integrate Gamma with your favorite automation tools like Zapier, and make, or you can also use your own data sources. On top of that, they also introduce Gamma for business, which is great for anyone who has like a big team or a business and you wanna be able to use Gamma at scale. Previously, it was still something that was kind of possible, but now they have business specific plans that really focus on collaboration, shared branding, advanced data controls, and security features to be able to operate at scale and have many people work on Gamma presentations while accessing all of the things that you might need to as a team and as a company. Gamma Ultra, on the other hand, is a new tier that actually gives you access to more AI models and extended limits for your most impressive projects, access to the lab for new releases, and visual variety expansion, which has a 10x expansion in smart layouts and diagrams, so your content is able to take that uniqueness to the next level. I'm personally on Gamma Pro and I find that has all the features and the credits that I might need. However, if you wanna take that to the next level and through the testing phase and have access to all of the available features and templates and have as many options as possible, there is the option for Gamma Ultra as well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out Gamma 3.0 for free, I'm gonna drop a link down below. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.